equivalent vectors equivalent vectors equivalent vectors so you can be given a number of vectors i've told you how vectors are represented for example you can be given vector ab you can be given say vector cd you can be given say vector ef and you can be asked to check whether these vectors are equivalent or not now just to remind us we said when we were starting that equivalent that vectors actually have two characteristics that make them vector quantities a vector we said that must have what we call direction and we also say that a vector must have the second thing magnitude or what we sometimes call size or what we also called length now two vectors are said to be equivalent if they are moving in the same direction and they have equivalent magnitude so let me just note that for you say that two vectors two vectors are said to be equivalent if they one move in the same direction and two they have the same magnitude so we can illustrate this further by checking an example of two vectors which we can use to show us whether two vectors are equivalent or not now suppose we have these two vectors suppose we have these two vectors so this is vector ab that is the direction and we also have vector cd that is the direction now suppose we have these two vectors and we are told that the length ab is 2 cm and we are also told that the length cd is 2 cm and then we are told that these two vectors are parallel we can write that as ab these two lines are parallel and cd now this sign shows that ab is parallel to cd so if we are told that they are parallel meaning they are moving in similar direction and we are also told that the length of ab which is the magnitude of ab is 2 cm and the length of cd which is the magnitude of cd is also 2 cm then we can say that vector ab is equal to vector cd the reason is these two vectors have same length which is 2 cm and that length is magnitude and at the same time they are moving in a similar direction because they are parallel so in that case we are going to say that these two vectors are equivalent now if we were to look at another the same same example and say that our direction of cd was the opposite such that we now have a direction that way we would say that vector ab vector ab in this case would say that is not equivalent to cd now this is the sign of not equivalent or not equal we'll say that ab is not equivalent to cd the reason is ab has a length of two centimeters but moves in an opposite direction compared to cd so because the uh, the, uh, the directions are not similar we say that the two vectors are not equal we say that the two vectors are not equal <laughs>